Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 19 on a Marwal Manor Farm. So, what is the plan for today? Well, we've got to get all of this stuff back down to the yard. Because the cedar is pretty much empty. I was just about to get that going on course play. And I realized that I had like 53 seed left. So at that point it's like, okay, yeah, just switch the thing off and get this down. Now the uh, telehandler down there, what we'll end up doing is probably just resetting that thing down to the main yard. So at least well, it's going to be there. It'll be a lot quicker and easier. Fertilizer and that uh, seed I think is pretty damn good still, so we need to touch that. We'll probably top it off though. So we'll just drive this all into the field. Half the field's still technically harvested, so yeah, compaction. But there again, game doesn't have compaction, so who gives a hoot? So we've sold off a good chunk of our wheat, hence the reason we've got so much money. Now we're at the dilemma of. Do we get cows or don't we get cows right now? Shall we save a bit? I don't know. Because I can get the equipment for the cows, which equipment, but by, by that I mean a straw blower, a feeder, a mixed wagon, but then we won't have any money for the cow suit. So Shall I just save the money right now and do another harvest, basically, is where I'm at. And that's kind of where I think I am at. Yes, I could buy a small amount of cows, but is it really worth it? Shall I just buy them in bulk? And the question that I put out was, do I cheat the money in? Uh, I'm recording this on Friday, as you guys can see up in the top right -hand corner. And nobody's actually answered that question that I asked in this, so... I know, we've got some wool to sell as well, so we could do a bit of wool to sell him. There's some other stuff we could be doing. But at this point, I'm kind of attempting literally just to... Um, do another harvest. That's that's kind of where I'm at. I'll see what you guys think I'll ask in the streams as well. Of course, I'll be streaming today, aka Friday. Won't be... Well, not that it matters. I was just about to say I won't be doing anything on Saturday, but this is Monday's video. I've got to remember that. We'll drive this right up into the field, as I was saying. I was kind of disappointed, actually. Friday. Now, oh, what? Maybe like 5 o'clock in the UK right now. 6 o'clock over in Germany. There was. Actually? No. Well, yeah, it's actually knocking on the door of 6 o'clock over there. Like, three mods that got put up. I was honestly expecting a lot more mods today, but I'm guessing not many passed. And that's the thing, it's not through like a try and we're getting mods a lot more frequent now. I think it's mainly down to the fact of stuff's failing. For sure. Open that up. Switch that off. Jump to this window. And is it that one? No, it must be this. Yep. So reset, yes. Okay. Oh yeah, I've got the weights too. And the only reason I'm doing that is, well, I don't think you guys want to see me drive it all the way back, do you? Because I know I don't. I don't want to even drive it all the way back again. And the fuel and everything like that stays the same as it really should. That connected, and now the rear weight here. I'm ready to rock and roll. There we go. Load this back up with seed, and we can get get back going on uh, seed. Actually, so I've got one to experiment with quick. Will the tires get white? Oh, well, they are. Oh, one of them's broken. It's always the right tire. I. I don't understand why. It's always that one, if you guys have noticed this. Because I have. I don't know what causes that. 
it's definitely on mods. So if you guys know, please let me know. I wondered if it would work, and well, yeah, sure as hell, it is. So that's why I did that experiment. Alrighty. So we'll jump into this. Okay, what is it to release? There we go. For whatever reason, I didn't want to actually do it by looks things. As much as I play this game, sometimes I always get mixed up with the keys. Brakes. Lift up. This was almost empty. I don't think it even takes a full bag. Now see. Which is a bit of a pain because it's just gonna leave three or four left. Dang. Getting that dropped ever so nicely. Try and peel out of there without it freaking out. And now we need a blue. I'm impressed this didn't actually require more seed. Oh jeez, depth perception is way off the... There we go. This... Yeah. I think it takes more fertilizer than it does seed. I want to say. Memory serves correct. Which it probably doesn't, let's be honest. Now one of you guys was saying on uh, Friday's video that the fertilizer bags don't actually unload from there. That is a thing. Same with the lime. Now, oh, really? 53%? Are you kidding me? Oh, I must have been out of fertilizer more than seed. Yes, it was. Oh, well. Got a refill. Which, it not refilling from the bag if you've got the bags just laying there. It's got to be an issue. That being said, I have seen the uh, the bag pack in the mods testing list again, so maybe they're fixing that, who knows. Or adding another way to handle bags, I, I doubt it, but never know. Come on, let go, thank you. Now, those bags, I will keep this all on the sideline. Uh, to be quite honest with you, because I would anticipate us ending up having to go through it all again. And this is where Follow Me would come in useful. That's for sure. So we'll boogie on down to the end of the field here. And we'll probably just nose into the entrance to the field 15. So we should be far enough out of the way there. I would hope. I don't think we'll need to do anything in field 15. I think that field's pretty much golden right now. Alright, because we're in this, what we'll do is unfold that, shut that up, and get course play back on at the go. Probably, what, 10 minutes in? Yep. 10 minutes in before we actually get going. And nearest waypoint, drive cars. And we're good to go. And just like that, we are off to Z of the field. So yeah, uh, but other than seeding right now, not much to do. I anticipate us during well, live stream on Friday, probably fast timing again. Maybe start and harvest in that field. Uh, obviously, we are putting down lime on this field, so that's what we'll continue to do 
in a moment. Uh, the shoot, oh, not shoot again, geez. The poplars, I think, should be fine in theory. I uh, will go down there and check them in a couple. What we'll do as well. Tab over to the. Really? What's there? What was actually there to stop that then? As I was saying, we'll, we'll tab over there to go to the forklift and just run across to the field to make sure they're okay, see how much they've grown. I've never done poplars, so I've never seen them grow, so it's kind of cool to see the textures, which I will do right now. So you've got a pathway down to this field, but there is no pathway join in field 9 because of the paddock here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's looking good. See, this is what I want. Orchards. <laughs> this looks like a legit orchard. Or a vineyard. Oh, that looks great. I love this. This is cool. This is actually really cool. So it does need lime putting down here, which we could do, but it also needs plowing. And I think we can put down more fertilizer, to be honest. But I think our, uh, our, our lime spreaders would just be too big. God, that looks so cool. Yeah, I'll probably do that on stream and test more than in a video. Ah, oh, crap, I was actually going to save the course of doing this too. Of the GPS and see how that works. Oh well. So what I'll do is I'll actually properly get lined up. Then go to the GPS window. Drop that line. Oh really? Is the auto width off? That's BS. Pretty sure it's 18 meters. Uh, we'll have to go back down that and fix that in a minute. Which would be just perfect considering I'm almost out as well. Alright, that's as that's finding its way on the course there. Uh da, 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 this yeah, 18. That's what I thought. Yeah, the auto width thing doesn't seem to work correctly on stuff that's been configured, I've noticed, that's for sure. That was most definitely a wee bit broken. God, look at that. That looks sick. That really does. Frig, that looks good. Would you just look at it? Alright, let's hammer on back down to the field. And the thing is, when tractors spread lime, they get this dirty. The lime just goes everywhere, it seems. Probably actually a real nasty thing to be spreading at times. This is what I don't like though. Look how quick the tires change. Now I know you can adjust that. It's a nice gradual change, but then it's very quick. That I definitely want to sort out. I know you can do it in the XML, so I'll have to take a look at that. All right, fill up the line. It's gonna be pricey. Actually, filling the line is not too, too bad. So I think this spreader, I, I think that it's literally just a fertilizer. I don't think you can put down line, can it? No, it can't. Because I can't for lime is... We'll see it here. Yeah, this one. Which is stupid. And for a small-scale operation, 
I can't just put down line. Maybe because these have conveyor belts. Maybe that's the thing. I, I don't know. Uh, but for that, it needs lime. So what I may have to do is literally just take off the spren things. Because those will literally just take down each row. And probably break my IRL. So I can do that. It was an upgrade we did. So technically in our arsenal we should have the normal discs too. Unless we sold them. Alrighty, what I'll do is... Uh, casually drive across this, mainly to get a fun now. Uh, so we can get all this thing white again. So that does look freaking sick. I really did. Uh, I don't even know where we were. And away we go. Oh, what do is all? Where's the best? Yeah, here. Yeah. I like get. I love getting the balloon in photos. I love having stuff like that in the game. It's something that I kind of wish Giants did. Alright, what we'll do is we'll. Uh, you guys know what's coming. G S T. Tab 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 tab. Enter. Yes. Switch that off. So you got to get the dust and everything going. Boom. Boom. There we go. That should be good. For the thumbnail. And watch as quickly as this dis stuff disappears. <laughs> there we go. I, li I liked having... A good gap between this thing, so if there's something else like we could probably get away with doing, I probably will. Now I think when I reset the uh, put the other arms on it, of course, this thing needs to be empty. So Oh that's cool, you can actually see it coming out of there. It's pretty neat. And I think the conveyor belt does actually move. You can see it slowly moving. Which is cool because it's something you never see. There's a lot of that in the game. A lot of that where stuff moves and you just don't see it, ever. It's pretty cool unless you do stuff like that. Pretty cool indeed. Now what I'll do is go all the way along. This field's going to look kind of weird, because what my plan is, is we'll do the predominantly main ups and down sections like we're doing right now. And after it's done the headland, we'll follow it around doing the headland. But well, we won't follow it around, we'll wait until it's finished doing the headlands. Because the little sections like this, where the overlap is, I'm covering now. It's going to cultivate that in, and the lime texture is going to be gone. I kind of want to leave the lime texture on to signify that, yeah, we have put lime down. Now I understand typically when doing lime, you don't do this. I'm doing it for quickness. You would do this before it's been planted. Or uh, ploughed in and stuff like that, but we've got straw down too, which we're getting rid of at the same time. Doing it the wrong way, but hey-ho. It's all good. It's a game at the end of the day, it's still going to work exactly the same. A lot of people tend to forget that. I'll right, get ready to shut this down. And switch that off. And we'll literally back this up. From once where it came. So that can carry on doing its thing. We need at least probably four passes in between us. To be okay. Ah, uh, now... We could go down and put some spray on this. 
Actually, it's something that we do need to do. Uh, do I actually have a tractor available to do that? Yes, this one for now. We actually need to go down to a very, very, very scummy place called Rainbow Ridge Stores and get some fertilizer as down there sells bulk. So we can fill up that tank. Now the owner of Rainbow Ridge Stores, I heard it was a complete and utter ass hat as well. Funny guy who loves rainbows and loves pink. Believes Irish as well. Yeah, just a weird fella. So hopefully he's not in right now. Because I'd rather not have to deal with him. That's for sure. So down there... Funny story about the Rainbow Ridge area. When I got sent over 1.1 for, uh, for, for obviously the map from Oxygen David, should I say? He uh, put in a manure cell point down there. Sure as poop, where does he put the manure cell point? Right where I placed the fertilizer tanks. Pain in the ass. So, there and then I called them all sorts of names midstream, and then sold it and moved it across a little. He strikes again. Yeah, right there is the uh, manure point he put in, and this tank right here. Oh, actually, yeah, it was this one. It was right there. The fertilizer. It looks like the owner is not here. I don't see his... Uh, Pink P50, which is nice. Good, good, good. Now we got this solid tank. Oh, solid tank. Our oh, tank here. Which is not working apparently. I've never, uh, to be honest as well, I've never actually filled these up. Oh, it is filling. Was it filling the whole time? No, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Probably. So yeah, there's the manure pit. And there's our herbicide. The reason I put these in is one day I need to kill off all the weeds on field 18, so I leased the hardy. I cheated the money in for that. I threw these down, filled that, and literally did that field a lot quicker for off-camera work. And trust me, People that sort of like, oh, why are you doing that? Why don't you use the old equipment that you got now? Trust me, everyone on YouTube. I can't believe they actually modeled my interior that. <laughs> everyone on YouTube pretty much that does stuff like this, at some point when they've got bulk equipment to do, you'll find them doing exactly what I do. And I know that because I've spoken to a lot of people that do it. You may get one person or a few that don't, and they are very hard. Oh no, I love the game, I will always do it like this. Nah, nine tiles out of ten. We're trying to do it as quick as possible to get it over and done with so we can proceed with the series. That happens a lot. And as soon as the cameras go off, <laughs> out come the big machinery on some maps, for sure. And that was one of the time that I did it on this map. The only time I have done it, I think, actually. That was when it got just infested with weeds. I don't know what happened. It's almost like the game freaked out a little. Which I think it actually did. Now, i got to remember to keep our speed down with this, because... Uh, well, you saw how much all that cost, too. That was kind of pricey. That's a secondary, secondary use for those tanks, is literally just to buy it in bulk. And not worry about the pilots. Because that doesn't make sense. You've got a tank like this, a nursing tank. You wouldn't buy it 
necessarily buy the pallets like that, maybe. If you've got a bulk tank, you would get a bulk, sort of go to a place that got it ready and you'd fill that bulk tank. Not by the individual parts. Now, IRL, I know there's mixing, there's water involved, so on and so forth. This isn't IRL, this is a game. And actually, the reason I don't know why I'm parking this, because the reason I wanted this is so we can actually go da down to our poplars and f go uh, photo laser them. I can't remember if I've got weeds switched off on this now. I really can't remember. Now we'll switch off. Four-wheel drive, you don't need that. That's filling up. Oh yeah, that's on the hurdle now. That's good enough. And there you go, the tyre. The red tyres, it's all funky. I don't get it. Like, if any of you goes, guys know, let me know, please. There's something I can fix. Well, I'll put in there to fix that, because it's a pain in the ass. There we go. Now it should meet up. I wonder why it didn't at the beginning, though. Weird. Probably could have done with making the width a tad smaller, so it bumped it over a bit, but hey ho. What's done is done. How long have we been 26 minutes. Beautiful. Well, that's another dead bottle of water. Get that into my system because I think tonight we're going to the gym. Okay, there was literally crows coming out of the ground then. Legit. So the headland passes, I'm probably going to, like I say, wait until it's it's physically done them. No, we can. I think it's kind of over there. Can't even see it, but I bet if I go in cab, I can. I just see it there. But I zoom out and it disappears. <laughs> so it's over there. This will be the last pass here for a while. And hopefully, like I said, we can get this cracked out and fast time during the stream. And possibly continue. Oh no. With what, but we'll figure something out. So definitely food for what I was saying about the cows earlier. Let me know what you guys feel on that one. I can get the machinery now for sure, but we're going to have to wait for the cows. So shall I just wait in general? Kind of where I'm at with that. All right. Leave that parked up there. This is good to go. Open up the GPS. Switch up the lines. No! Ah, I hit the wrong button. Sure, line's off. I thought the lines were off. They're on. Anyway. Beacon's on. And this thing can go down the road in game pretty uh, good look at speed. People were saying that the speed of this thing should be like 26 miles an hour. Uh, which I think, yeah, people are correct. I think what they've done and a lot of people tending to say this it's not my idea to be straight off honest is they've taken the uh, hardy xmls and talk and stuff like that i bet if we put out the dino stuff if you like which shows you the horsepower and the torque curves they're almost identical to the hardy but i am not going to complain at the speed this can go. I'm glad they've added this into the game. It could definitely have done with a major refresh. And remodel. Especially the cab. But then that's extra time. Who knows. We know we've got a brand coming to the game. 
that's got sprays. Hopefully, I hope that they come to the game with their self-propelled sprays. That's one thing I feel the game lacks is, and I've said this time and time again, I think a load of people will agree, is European self-propelled sprays. We've got two American styles. Well, two, yeah. The Americas style. The New Holland, the Hardy, and the Steyr. You may be saying, well, the Steyr is not uh, North American. No, it's not. It's South American. But it's still all sort of based on that era. And that thing, yeah, the Steyr looks like it could be UK or Europe. But, really? Yeah, nah. I just can't get over how those how that looks. It straight up looks like a vineyard. I so I'm proud of that. Because I am. <laughs> I actually legit really like that. That looks freaking cool. Now, uh, how long have we been going? 31 minutes. Well, this is where I'm going to make this the decision on this. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. And you guys are watching what the thumbnail for Friday's live stream is. Because... That's what I'm going to call it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow for Files Burn, unless miracles happen and a map that I go, oh, comes out, but more than likely will be on Files Burn. So until next time, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you guys had a great weekend, and we'll see you uh, guys next time. Later!